So have you ever heard of the term pigeonholing yourself? If you ask me, it means that you have put yourself in a certain kind of situation whereby everyone is expecting something specific from you. And that's something I'm kind of scared of, you know? I don't want to be pigeonholed, which is why I always hesitate when I decide upon topics to talk about, because if I talk about video games all the time, then I'll be pigeonholed into being a video game vlogger. And if I talk about other things, then that might be the case. But if you don't pigeonhole yourself, then you're basically talking about literally everything without giving any kind of constructive input on on any of those things. So we need to find some sort of a happy middle ground so I don't corner myself. Alright, let me see. I don't know if you remember, but in the last video I wrote a few talking points on a whiteboard and uh, some of you responded uh, very nicely and by some of you I mean the people who know me personally in my real life. Actually there was one comment from someone I've never heard of before so that was very nice. Thank you very much. I hope you're watching this one too. Look I, there's community engagement like right here instantly. But the thing that people wanted to hear most about was I think video games but there was at least one person who wanted to hear about music so today I want to talk about music. Fine? Yes. To the point. So I recently started listening to some Turkish music again, and it makes me feel so safe. Now this might be a weird thing to hear for some people, when I say Turkish rock makes me feel safe and secure, but you have to remember that I am originally from Turkey, and Turkish is the first language I ever learned how to speak. I didn't even start paying attention to the lyrics of English songs until like five years ago. Before that, the only thing I heard when I listened to English music was the melody and the sound. The vocals happened to be there, but I didn't really care too much about them, you know? But with Turkish music, things are slightly different. I can actually understand the words directly in a way that does not require some sort of translation, even unconsciously. Right now, when I speak English, it is not through some sort of like prism that translates my Turkish thoughts into English. It's directly English. I have. I have reached that point of my, of my life where I can understand English like that. It just has always been like that with Tur Turkish. So I think that's one of the reasons why Turkish music makes me feel safe. It's familiar territory, it's not new. And sometimes you need that in your life. You know, if you were to ask me what my favorite Turkish rock band was, I think I would say Duman without any hesitation. But there are a bunch of bands that I really enjoy. Some of my favorite Turkish bands are Hot Takes, I think. Like, there's a band called Manga, which, when I was a kid, people thought was too emo. Essentially, Manga is kind of like a Turkish Linkin Park. They do new metal that combines elements of, like, very hard rock with rap, but they do it in a way that incorporates Turkish tunes and melodies as well. In that sense, it's a very unique sound. In fact, Manga has represented Turkey in one of the Eurovisions. I don't remember which one, but it's probably written here right now. And uh, you can check it out. It's a great song. Early Manga, it was very emo in the topics that it talked about. A lot of their songs were about sad things. There's one song about someone dying and it's a duet featuring another artist and both of the artists are talking about how to deal with someone passing away and wishing they could stop time but they can't. Another more classic one where the guy kind of sings about how he wants to draw the perfect woman because all the other ones are not perfect for him or something like that. The topics admittedly are cheesy at times but because I was listening to these songs when I was like 14 I was kind of focusing more on the melodies than I was on the lyrics themselves. But as I was saying before I so rudely interrupted myself about talking about manga, Duman I think is my favorite Turkish rock band. And there are a few reasons for that. For one, they were probably the first Turkish rock band I ever listened to. And then they're mainstream enough that they have this one song that I'm pretty confident that every single Turkish person knows how to sing or has heard it before. It is written in our collective brains in a sort of Assassin's Creed genetic memory kind of way. It's a very fun drinking song that you can enjoy even if you don't enjoy drinking. It's a very dancey melody and it's very simple so that you can sing along. You're in a bar in Istanbul, in downtown Istanbul, and this song starts to play and everyone knows the words and they sing along. And then you're drinking, you're merry, it's fun. It's a fun song. But of course, Duman has a very wide variety of emotions available to it. And if you want to feel very depressed and very sad, they have songs for that as well. 
And before I finish this, I also want to talk about the third band I mentioned in this in this video so far, and that's Modal. Compared to Duman and Manga, Modal is a very new band. It's a newcomer, both to my music taste and the overall music taste of all Turks. If I were to compare them to an American band, they are closer to Evanescence and Nightwish, but not as hard as Nightwish. And the kinds of topics Modal's songs are about are from a feminine point of view, which is very refreshing. Their songs are loaded with kind of emotional melodies, if you know what I mean, and they tend to get very intense. That paired with the vocals of the lead singer lead to a very emotional listening experience. Especially from one of their latest albums, there is this song. It's somewhat politically charged. The song is about a young girl who it is implied has been found murdered. The entire song is about the lead singer kind of dealing with this experience. She goes to this girl's funeral and here is everyone else talking shit about her. It's a commentary on gendered violence and how there is a culture of, you know, victim blaming and how that affects women as a whole. It's a very good song. It's a very intense song. You should listen to it, except you probably won't understand the lyrics because they're in Turkish. So yeah, those are the Turkish songs that I really like. There are so many more out there that I haven't mentioned, but I could. Would you like to hear more about that? What are some of your favorite songs? And if you like this, you should like the video and then also subscribe and then share this with your friends. See you later.